Hello Internet, I am Mihai, it is part 21. Today I will not work in Jenkins. I want to log in into my server and create a new operating system user. So, open VirtualBox, start the server headless, select the server, click this button next to Start and click Headless Start. Wait one minute for the server to start running. And I will just remind you that VirtualBox is not mandatory. You can use an AWS server, Azure server, Google server or any other server. The server should be running. Open the terminal. Connect to your server. I do it with the SSH command, your username, add and IP. Enter, write the password and I am connected to the server. Clear the terminal. Write pwd to print working directory. I see I am inside the home Mihai. Go back one folder, cd for change directory, dot dot to go one folder back. And I am inside the home folder now. List the content of the home folder ls-la and I see here only one folder, Mihai. In this video we will create a new user and it will have its own folder. First let's create a new configuration file. For that open the configuration repository. This is this one. Open it in VS Code or any other editor you have. Go to the Jenkins server folder and here create a new file. New file. The name is create node.js dash server dash user dot md. Open the file and write the header. Hashtag create node.js server user. Create the shell block, sh for shell, and close the shell block. Check git changes. It's ok, add the file to the stage, but don't commit it. Open the terminal, clear it. Good. Check the help for user add command user add dash dash help zoom out this is it also open the vs code next to the terminal and start writing the create user command write user add dash dash system system will create a new system account create home will create a user's home directory in the home location right next dash dash user group this option will create a group with the same name as the user. And now write the username. It is Node.js dash server. Add sudo at the beginning. Clear the terminal. Zoom in a bit. Past the command. And run it. Write the password. Very good. The user should be created. We can confirm it by checking the file passwd. So write cut for reading the file and now the file path root etc folder and the file name passwd. Copy the command. Paste it in the VS code. Very good. 
and run the command. It is the file content, and here we can see the Node.js user and its home location, home Node.js server. Let's list the content of the home directory. We are already in the home location and write ls-la. Enter. And here I see the folder Node.js server. You also should see this folder. Now I want to add my user and also the Jenkins user to the Node.js server group. Clear the terminal. Write user mod dash dash help. Open the VS code. And now let's start writing user mod dash dash append. Append will append the user to the supplemental groups. Write next dash dash groups. In the groups, I need to list the new groups I want to append to the user. The group name is Node.js-server, the same as the username, and my username. Mine is Mihai. Write sudo at the beginning. Very good. Copy the command, paste it in the terminal, and run. No errors, it means it runs successfully. Let's add the Jenkins user to the Node.js server group, copy the line, and replace Mihai with Jenkins. Nice. Copy the command, paste it in the terminal, and run. The users should belong to the group. We can check it by reading the group file. Let's prepare the command. It is cut. etc slash group. Very good. Copy the command and paste it in the terminal. Run. And here is the content of the group file. It is my group, Node.js server. And I see that Mihai user and Jenkins user belong to the Node.js server. Now I want to log the user. Clear the terminal. Perfect. Check the help for the pass wd command. Very good. Open VS Code. And start writing. Pass wd dash dash status. It will check user status. And the username. Node.js dash server. Put sudo at the beginning. Copy the command, paste it in the terminal, and here is the information of Node.js server user. It is username, and this L means the user is already locked. Anyway, I will show you what to do in case you have here not L, but any other letter. Start writing in the VS Code. Pass wd dash dash lock. It will lock the password and the username, node.js server. sudo at the beginning, of course. Copy the command, paste it in the terminal, and the user should be locked. Check user status again. Copy the command, paste it, and now you should see the letter L. Another way to check if the user is locked, it is by checking the shadow file. Clear the terminal. In the VS code, you write sudo cut etc slash shadow. Copy this command, paste it in the terminal. And here you must find the Node.js server user. And it must have one exclamation mark or two exclamation marks. It means the user is locked. Let's reboot the server. Open VS Code. Write the command sudo reboot. Very good. Copy it. Paste it in the terminal. 
I need to run the reboot to apply all groups changes to the Mihai user and Jenkins user. Press Enter to reboot. Very good, the server is rebooting. Open VS Code. Make it full screen. Go to Git Changes. Check the changes. It is OK. I edit new commands. Apply the change. Close the working tree. Start writing the commit message. Create it. Node.js. Server. User. New line. Create. Node.js. Server. User. Commit and push. Perfect. It was pushed. And it is all. We have a user to run our server. Thank you for watching.